What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Jennifer Lawrence film, Joy. Joy is the true story of a down-on-her-luck woman who has the idea for an invention and decides to try to get it patented and move up in the world and get out of this horrible situation that she has ended up in. I don't really want to go into more detail than that with the story because there's a lot of characters and it would just get really confusing. Now, this movie was directed by David O. Russell of American Hustle and Silver Linings Playbook fame, and he has decided to kind of stick to the same sort of style that he has used in his previous films. However, I will say, I think this is probably his best directed movie. He uses the camera in a lot of interesting ways, uses some interesting filters in different scenes, and I really think he kind of showed off the ability that he has as a director. However, this movie just did not really pull through like those other two for me. And I think that this movie gives you what you expect when you go to a David O. Russell film. This movie is not without its flaws, but I think that he made a pretty good movie here. I think just Jennifer Lawrence gives a good performance, I think that the supporting cast is really good, especially Robert De Niro and Bradley Cooper, I felt that they gave great performances in the small supporting roles that they were given in the film. And the other thing is that this is a true story about a real woman that exists, so it's actually interesting to watch and see what happens. And I actually enjoyed that a lot about this film, and I feel that Jennifer Lawrence gave a good enough performance to pull that through to make this character seem believable. I don't think that she gave an Oscar-worthy performance, I think she will get Oscar buzz, and probably will even get a nomination for this film. I don't think she deserves to win. I thought she was pretty good, but I didn't feel like she blew me away. I didn't feel that she was as good as she was in Silver Linings or in American Hustle. Now this movie definitely had its problems and they were very visible and easy to catch for me. For one thing, the supporting cast, they had these great actors come in and then they would only really get like a few big scenes for their character and then after that they would kind of like still be a primary point in the story but they just wouldn't be on screen and you wouldn't get to see them interact with Jennifer Lawrence's character and it was really disappointing because I really enjoyed some of those supporting characters when you first get introduced to them and then you don't really get to see that much of them throughout the rest of the film. The other thing is that this movie didn't really seem to know where it was going until about halfway through. For the first beginning of the movie, it was kind of all over the place, and that kind of goes into the big thing that's wrong with this movie. The storytelling that was used was very confusing. There's voiceover and flashbacks and dreams, and all of these sporadically placed throughout the film. None of them really serve any purpose besides the voiceover, but even then, the voiceover is very sporadic through the film. You maybe only hear it three or four times throughout the whole movie, even though they make it seem like it will be there through the whole film. So it's very weird to me why you would choose to do that when really the only thing that was necessary for the story was the flashbacks, but you could have just told it periodically rather than through flashbacks. I didn't understand that choice because it kind of just made the whole first half of the movie really confusing because you were getting all these mixes with dream to flashback to her in real life, to this, to that, and it kind of threw you off, and I also didn't really feel like I knew where the movie was going for the first, like, 45 minutes of it because of all of these weird storytelling ideas that they decided to utilize throughout this film. I'm gonna give Joy a B-. minus. I don't think Joy is a bad movie. I think it's just all right, though. I don't think it lives up to American Hustle or Silver Linings Playbook. I think that this movie was a valiant effort, but I don't think that it was utilized the right way. I feel that they tried to make the story too confusing in the beginning with too many sporadically placed storytelling ideas like the voiceover and the dreams where they didn't end up serving much of a purpose in the story at all and overall I think that this movie kind of fell through because of that. I do enjoy David O. Russell as a director for the most part. I liked American Hustle. I liked Silver Linings Playbook. However, I feel that he needs to try something new because I really enjoy The Fighter and that's probably my favorite film of his but I would really like to see him go out of his way to try a new type of film. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Joy, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, have some happy holidays and a nice break, and I hope to see you guys later.